Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In a short video, I want to see how good with this Meguiar's Sir Hybrid Ceramic Prep Wax remove this bug etching here on my full display. As y'all can see how bad the bugs kind of etch the paint. Now, this happened before I actually bought this vehicle a couple years back. So, this really didn't happen under me. Because it happened under the last person that had it. Uh, I think it was an older couple. You know, older older people ain't really on to washing no vehicle like that. Some of them is, but a lot of them just, you know, just keep it running good. And they might ride around for weeks or days with bug guts on the front. But this is what happened. It actually etches the paint, as you guys can see here. It etches the clear coat. And I'm trying to see how good with this stuff actually bring that back to life. All right, so let's get into it, man. I had to explain what I'm doing here. I don't want y'all to be puzzled. Y'all see all that bug etching here? Let's see what this stuff will do for that. It looks bad now. Car actually, that's your clear coat that's being etched. So the base only thing you can do is try to polish it out and see what you can do with it. You know, to make it look better. Sometimes there's hope. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's no hope. You know, it, it just it just depends. It depends on what the deal is, man. It really. All right. Now, this may help. Now, sometimes. That bug etching, let's hit that symbol, clean up that symbol, look at there. Try to clean that fort symbol up, son. It was kind of oxidized. It's actually working too, look at there. Yeah, cleaning up that fort symbol. And y'all see right here how bad it's etched. So I'm gonna stop it. I'm not gonna take it all the way across. I want to see how good with this stuff actually worked though. Cause a lot of times, once it etches the paint, the the damage is really done. You know, sometimes only thing you really can do is make it look better. You know, to be honest, because once it get to this stage, <laughs> it's really you know it's just it done etched the clear coat basically. So the only thing you can do is like I said, is make it look best, the best you can make it look. Because they rolled around chilling with the bug guts and stuff on the front. And the bug guts is acid. It's like acid. It's just like bird droppings. It actually eat right through your clear coat if you keep riding around with it up there like that. So, and a lot of people don't know that. But if you watch my videos, you'll know that bug guts is actually ain't nothing but acid. And it'll eat right through your clear coat if you keep riding around with it up there. And it'll, it'll look like this. See? That's eight up clear. That's what that is. That's clear coat. That's eight up. All right, so let's bump this back off. Let's see what did it do. It probably, I'm pretty sure it's going to help some. And the objective is to make it look better than what it looked at first. Like I said, a lot of times, once you get to this stage, like that, the damage is pretty much done. You know, it's already not eating through the clear. Only thing you can do is make it look better than it did first. You know, that's basically it. Ain't no miracles in a ball of nowhere, but it's always something that'll help you out. All right, now as you can see, okay, we buffed that off. It actually looks better. See there? It looks better, but that etching is still there. But it looked better than this. See there? We made it look better, so from a distance, it won't really show up as bad. Look at there. Look at the difference. See that? Now you can hit it several times and see, can, uh, can I really go for it and knock it down a little bit more, you know? <laughs> so we're going to hit that in front right there, right up in here a little bit more. See, can we knock that down a little bit more? 
But like I tell you guys, most time when it gets to this stage, the damage is pretty much done. You can press your luck, you know, and say, okay, let's keep hitting it, hoping it get better and better. But a lot of times, man, I'm, the damage is done. But we can, that's much better though. Look at there, the 50 50 here though. See that? 50 50. It's much better than what it was. Look at there. Much better. Oh, yeah. That's 100% better than where it was at first. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I, I'm satisfied with that. Because, look at there. You can tell from a distance. That is a whole lot better. Look at there. Got bad to look over here compared to over here. Oh, yeah. That's a whole lot better. See there? So far as I'm concerned, the job is done. If it looked that much better, that's it. It's much glossier and much slicker, slicker than it was. So you can't ask for no more. Because like I said, once it etches that clear, the damage is done. Look at here. You can see how that etched all up. But when you come back here, it's smoothed out, it's darker, it's less noticeable. As you can see here, where we worked it at, it's less noticeable. So yeah, it's, it's, it's much better, man. Much better than what it was. So as you can see, some things ain't always gonna be perfect, but it will make it look a whole lot better than what it looked at first. And basically that's what you want. And that's, I'm satisfied with that. Because it really did look bad on that bumper. And y'all know it now. Oh, white paints. Like them two white explorers you see sitting there. Wagon you see sitting here. The white color cars don't really show too much etching. You know, there is very faint. It's one reason you got to stay on white paints. Because it don't really show no etching that's going on on the paint. But hey. It'll still be there. It just ain't showing that it's there. Like here, it shows. And man, it looks 100% better than what it looked at first. I'm satisfied with just that. Because you couldn't help it when something like that happened before you get the vehicle, you know. You know like I said, older couple had it and they, they weren't really into detailing no cars. They were just about getting around, you know. I think people had it were like in his 70s, something like that. So, you know, they were not about worrying about no car. They were just trying to get around, and they traded it in. That's how I wind up with it. So, anyway, y'all hit that subscribe, man. Till next time, your boy's out. Peace.